everybody, I'm back, RBM, uh, for another video. Uh, I might be going through this one pretty quickly because I do actually have a lot of figures to show off, but today we will be showing off some uh, Batman related figures. Mostly Batman villains because, you know, I mean, that's what takes up the majority of the Batman universe. So let's, you know, go start off our, uh, a couple versions of the Joker to show you. Well, by a couple, I mean three. Uh, first off, let's show off the Heath Ledger's Joker. I know there's an official figure of this. Is it Heath Ledger's? I, I, I get confused between the actors, so if I get this wrong, uh, sorry. So there's a simple just repaint of the colors, you know, in here. Uh, just paint it on a face. Come on. I just got a flesh face and just kind of paint it on the white and the the scarred. So why are you so, why are you so serious? You know, smile. All right, some other uh, versions of the Joker. We have uh, the Joker from the Mortal Kombat 11 DLC. This is not in the purple outfit. I want to differentiate it from the other ones. So it's in his blue outfit, blue alt, I guess you could say. I don't know what, I don't know the Mortal Kombat lingo. I just use alt because, you know, that's what they say in the Smash Bros. community. Uh, yeah, that's pretty simple. I mean, I made this. He has a little staff. This is a um, roller. No, no, a skate. Nice skate. Just repainted uh, gold. And so, yeah, that kind of makes up his little staff. So pretty simple. Third version of Joker is Joker from the Harley Quinn show. If you haven't seen the Harley Quinn show, uh, go go watch it. If, if If you're of the age to go watch it. And if you have access to it, it's on it's on the DC streaming site, so it's kind of like hard to get. Uh, torso, pretty crappy, I gotta say. It's a pretty crappy torso. I like how the face turned out. I just kind of took a Joker face, repainted the um, teeth yellow, and kind of painted the bottom of the hair a bit of a lighter shade of green. Uh, not too great of a figure, but I do have some other Harley Quinn show figures. So, like, you know, Harley Quinn, dog kind of self-explanatory. This is just her appearance on the show. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an easy, just paint over the Harley Quinn with the bits of white and give it the white arms, you know, showing a bit more skin there. Uh, yeah, you know, just Har Harley Quinn. I took the, I really like the face from the Lego Batman movie, Harley Quinn, although I thought it was just really expressive, so I just reused that, just painted over the mask part. Uh, one of my favorite characters, the old guy with the... The robot, I, I honestly don't remember his name. Uh, I posted this on r slash just do good. I just like, I looked up his name on uh, Wikipedia and then just, just immediately forgot it. Uh, interesting thing I used for this is I just used, I think it was like a Nexo Knight shoulder, kind of cut off the um, other shoulder piece, right? To, and then painted some of it yellow just to kind of like make the arm look a bit bulkier. The arm is actually from the Aquaman from the DC collectible minifigure series because I actually got two of those so you know then I just painted you know gave him some shorts by painting one leg the full kind of focus flesh color then the other just a gray just plain uh, light gray so let's see who else we got we got uh, Red Hood this one's pretty simple uh, this is basically purist because uh, I mean the torso just Red Hood the legs I don't know where those legs came from but I thought it looked good for Red Hood uh, underneath it's just a flash head kind of looks goofy on him but you see his actually his eyes through that now i don't know where this hood is from this hood is not of uh, the newer hood because i remember justin actually looked at this and said hey that looks like the people using the newer hood already well no i did not use this the newer hood i this was it had like a little circle down here i don't know where it was from i gotta be completely honest i got it my friend well, uh, he had some extra Legos he didn't want. Oh, crap. I, I said, God, I said it with an S. No, uh, sorry, don't, don't, don't kill me. I swear, it's, it's Lego. No S. No S. I did not say an S. You were hallucinating. You're, you're high on something. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. Yay. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. So, uh, this is, just, I don't know where I got that. I gotta be, I think it was from, um, what was that spy theme? Um, I don't know. Some, from, like, some newer, like, spy theme uh this one's killer croc this one's like basically almost purest except a little bit of paint on there so you could you could make this at home if you don't like if you like being purest this is just crocodile face from uh chima torso is from the gremlin so is the arm just paint a little bit glove yeah so this is kind of the arkham look with the orange pants you know the arkham sound pants uh this next figure i'm actually quite proud of Probably one of the uh, better ones out of all of them. 
It's Two Face. Now you can notice a lot of these aren't are kind of just my own interpretation of the character because there are a lot of versions. They're not really based off one specific version. More like kind of an amalgamation. This one I'm pretty proud of because it's kind of a combination of comic booky and modern. Where so I just kind of gave him like a suit and just imagine that like half the suit kind of ripped off and he has little shorts. Sorry, not short, short sleeve shirt underneath. So that kind of gives him the little split without actually giving him like a suit of two different colors. You know, so kind of boring realistic. But then you see here with the hair, it's kind of more comic booky where you see like the more realistic version will have like one side without hair. Where the comic book, the comic booky quote unquote version will usually have like more spiky, wild, kind of evil looking hair. So I kind of did a combination of that. This hair piece was from Ghostbuster set, I believe. And I just thought I thought it looked good for Two Face because you know it's like one half is like crazy and one half is kind of sleek. So you know that's pretty uh, simple. Uh, I just painted over a normal face with some of the red. So you, even when you have the so when you have the hair on, you can see even the neck. If you focus, even the neck has a split in it, which usually Lego wouldn't do. And you might have heard me say, "Oh, I usually only do it." A Lego would do, but sometimes I do break kind of that rule I have for myself. Uh, some other figures I might have shown these off before. I honestly don't remember. Bane, I took the um, uh, the torso from what was it next? That next one, that character. Yeah, you've, I've seen. I've I've done this before on my channel, where I use this torso to make a uh, character look, look more swole. Some people call it the Mister Incredible uh, torso, even though it was never used for Mister Incredible. This is just a modified version of the um. Uh, like I said, next on that character, Alex. No, it was he has he had a he had a Chadlier name than Alex. It was like, oh, why am I? It's something with an A. I feel like, or maybe it wasn't. I'm, I might just be uh, hallucinating. Uh, this next one, uh, the Batman who laughs, very cool. Just got a, I actually got the goggles helmet because you can see if you look, oh, I can't really see that, but inside there's no. Yeah, I took the goggles and just, you know, because the goggle one didn't have those eye slots. So if I put, you know, green stuff in there, it wouldn't leak out into the head and make it an unwearable mess. So just Joker head. This one's kind of, I had this, this one was like fading and kind of looked weird anyway. So just, since you can't really see the eyes, boom, just that. Sorry, this camera does not like to focus. Hey, gave him a little chain, gave him a little spikes, gave him a little everything, you know, that's good. Uh, this one's pretty, this one's basic, like, this one and Killer Croc are basically purist, but, um, this one is just, I just got some black skull piece, I think it's from Ninjago, so you can't really, the lighting it makes it hard to see, kind of, this stuff, this is dark, but I just got a Batman tour, so just painted over the little flower, and boom, that's, I mean, that's literally it, I mean, it's, it's basically purist, if you just maybe use... Oh, uh, the Joker torso could work as well, but I think I did actually paint that tie in, so that tie isn't pierced. But it's almost pierced. It's like basically pierced. Uh, next up, we got oh yeah, this is a Bat Woman, Bat Girl. Honestly, I get confused between them because like you know why why use I don't know. It just makes no sense why it's a Bat Woman and a Bat Girl. You know, I mean just like. You don't have a Batman and a Bat Boy. You have a Batman and a Robin. Why is a Bat Okay, you know, rant over. Uh, this is just a modified version of the one that already exists. Just kind of... I uh, decided to see how it looks without a helmet. Uh, it doesn't look too good, to be honest. This this is kind of more of an experiment than it is a figure. I did give him dual molded arms. Uh, it was from the Plant Lady uh, from a collectible minifigure series. And this is kind of just the modified version of the Black Panther horns. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of see how it looks for Batwoman, a Batgirl, whatever. And the re and what did I do with her extra um headpiece, uh, the bat, the Batwoman head uh cowl, as well? I tried it on a Batman just to see how it looks. And this is just kind of an experiment. I don't know why I did the short arms. I just did. See, this is the Batwoman cowl. You can see the bat is purple inside. We painted it black, right? And I also gave it. Uh, just made the eye holes a bit smaller, so you could actually, if the lighting wasn't dog dookie, but uh, you could actually see the eyes in there because you know the because I was thinking, well, you know, why can't Batman have the eyes pop through? It doesn't look too good, honestly. The normal bat cowl probably looks a bit better. Let me just stop focusing on that. Focus on this. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm determined. I'm determined at this point to get it to... You know, I'm at the 10-minute mark. Screw it. Well, that's that guy. And then the last one, uh, this is just a modification of the uh, classic Batman in the collectible minifigure series. Um, all I did is gave a utility belt, uh, some, I think, slightly more accurate hand color. And also, you can see there's blue at the inside of the cape and black at the outside. So, you know, just got to make it a bit more accurate. I got rid of the muscle detail because, one, it had a printed utility belt, and two, like, you know, in the original piece, they didn't actually have that much muscle detail. And also, I gave it uh, uh, the Lego Batman headpiece. The only reason I did that is because, in my opinion, it looks better. It makes the eyes way more expressive. And it also, uh, it makes, because with the, uh, the one they originally had, it was a black head with printed on flesh, which always makes the flesh look duller and kind of crappier, in my opinion. So I just did the normal just flesh so you know you could actually so it's more vibrant it kind of looks better so yeah i'm surprised this video is only oh it's a, okay 11 minutes so i guess it's a good time to end it but because yeah that's all those are all my batman figures and I, you know i've been making the outros too short so uh, go watch rango bye